The story I'm about to share with you all happened back when I was in secondary school. It was one of the worst experiences I had growing up. It was a Monday morning and I went to school as early as I used to. And after the 7.30 assembly, the principal decided to let those that have paid their school fees into the class and punish the rest of us more. Unfortunately, I had not paid my school fees at that time, but I had the cash with me. So I quickly jumped the school fence which led to the main road to the bank to go pay my school fees. But then, I witnessed a gruesome attack. I saw two young men with a well sharpened machine butchered a teenager who had bundles of dollars in his hand. I watched in shock and fear as the pieces this young boy, his blood spilled all over my uniform. I see why we have the existence of cannibal. There was no difference between cow meat and human flesh. They got satisfied with their evil deed. They left I and the body and fled the scene. I have never been so terrified in my life before. It had rained the previous night before that morning, so nobody was outside. I stood with the body, still in shock. An hour later, when people started leaving their houses to their various businesses, they saw me standing close to the body, covered in blood. They took me back to the school premises. I couldn't say anything. My mouth was wide open. Two days after the tragic incident, I resumed school going about my daily duties as a student. While I was in class, I was told the principal needed my attention. Without hesitating, I hurried up to his quarters. On reaching the entrance, the police had lined up ten young boys. Then my principal walked straight to me and said, My dear, do you recognize any of these boys? I looked at the ten boys lined up. Truth be told, the murderers were among them, but can never be me. I'm unavailable to be butchered too. Back then in Cali, when you get yourself involved or however in any cultic situation, or even snitch, they come after your family and not you. With that in mind, I said to him, no sir. The DPO took me away from the principal's quarters and said, are you sure little girl? Don't be afraid, we are here to protect you. In my thoughts, never. Ha! <laughs> Police came. I smiled and I said, no sir, I'm very sure. After all the investigation, they drove off. A year after school, I and my friend decided to go chill. And on our way out, I bumped into the two guys who killed the teenager. I was so shocked that I had to pretend like I don't know them from anywhere. They stopped me and they said, Uh-uh, ain't no one. What's it going in about? Oh, so someone can't of fucking I'm there. I was like, excuse me, I don't understand what you're saying and I don't know who you are. They kept on persuading and persuading and I still acted like I didn't know them. After much persuasion with no positive response, they decided to leave I and my friends alone. Moral lessons to this story is that do not snitch at any cost. And secondly, what God cannot do does not exist. My family has no idea about this story and I decided to keep it to myself till this day. Anyways, thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next story.